In today's video, we'll be narrowing down our picks for 5 personal finance rules that school never teaches you. Stay tuned to find out what these tips are and how you can implement them to manage your finances more effectively. Make Timely Payments Most schools offer a wide range of subjects in their mandatory curriculum, but it hardly ever includes personal finance. This means that a massive majority of students often end up having little to no financial literacy. Knowing the basics of personal finance not only helps you understand concepts like credit and taxes, but also allows you to make smarter decisions that can lead to a more secure financial future for you and your family. So if you're looking to fill in the gaps in your knowledge, we've come up with 5 essential rules of personal finance that they don't teach you in school but should. Firstly, you should avoid late payments. For some people, paying a small fee for making one late payment doesn't seem like much of a problem until they get used to missing monthly billing due dates and the additional costs keep piling up. Missing payments can also lower your credit score significantly, which directly affects your ability to take loans for bigger purchases, like a property or a car, in the future. So, how can you ensure you're making timely payments? You can easily sign up for AutoPay and even use apps and financial software that offer automatic bill payment reminders. Making payments on time will not only reduce your financial stress, but also raise your credit card score and save you a lot of money in the long run, since you won't be charged with a late fee or penalty. Build and maintain emergency fund. Look, wouldn't it be great to have a little bit of extra money set aside that you could use to cover any setbacks? This is one of the most important rules for achieving financial stability. In case of unexpected financial hardship, an emergency fund is what keeps you afloat and saves you from drowning in debt and loans. Nowadays, building an emergency fund is quite simple thanks to saving apps that evaluate your monthly income and automatically set aside a fixed percentage of savings. This way, you can also set up a target on how much you want to add to your emergency fund. Ideally, it should cover at least six months worth of living expenses. Once you've built up an emergency fund, the next step is learning how to maintain it. For most people, saving enough money isn't as hard as keeping their hands off their savings account. When you dip into your savings, you're putting your entire financial future at risk by not allowing your savings to grow over time. So you must learn not to touch your emergency fund or savings account unless you absolutely need it. One way to create a logistical and mental barrier between yourself and this money is to opt for a high interest savings account or a money market account instead of a traditional savings account. Say no to impulse purchases. Impulse buying means making an unplanned purchase that might not fit your budget. Thanks to online shopping, making purchases in the blink of an eye is easier than ever, but it also paves the way for mindless spending. Once these random spur of the moment purchases become frequent, they can derail you from your monthly budget, making it even harder for you to stop spending outside of your financial plan. The same issue applies to retail therapy. Using shopping as a tool to relieve stress and boost your mood is tempting at first, but it can quickly escalate to shopping addiction, a point where your happiness is linked to purchasing material goods. Try to get your emotional spending under control by relying on healthier, cost-effective ways to reduce stress, such as exercise, and you may even get the same result without wrecking your budget and ruining your financial goals. Start investing early. The answer is that investors behave in very human ways, which is they get very excited. Who said investing was only for millionaires and billionaires? You don't need an enormous fortune to start growing your wealth through a variety of investments. These days, investment options like crypto and real estate are brimming with potential, but without any prior experience, it can be intimidating to dip your toe into the investing waters. That said, there are some great investment ideas and tips that will allow you to make smarter financial decisions and step into the investment world with ease. Whether it's the stock market or real estate, there are tons of free online resources available for beginners that cover everything you need to learn about investments. Truth is, the sooner you learn about different investment options, the more time your money has to grow and multiply. Similarly, it's advised to start saving for retirement early. When you start adding to your retirement funds sooner rather than later, your money has more time to expand and greater growth potential. Keep track of your expenses. All the financial experts actually had a pretty simple set of things that they, that they suggested that you do. Budgeting is the backbone of personal finance. Overspending and living above your means can be quite tempting, which is why it's necessary to be mindful of how much you're spending and keep track of your expenses. Start by fixing a particular budget for each category of expenses and stick to your plan. You can also use an app to plan your monthly budget and track your spending. 